we are going to configure the parameters of the motor after power on. The functions of the three buttons from left to right are next, enter and menu. Click the menu, mode, sister XXXX, select the serial interface mode. Click the menu, UART bow, set the baud rate. Default 38,400. Click the menu, UART R, to set the communication address default 01. Turn on the PC software and configure the parameters. Select the serial port of the device in the settings. When the serial port is not displayed, you can try to click this key next to it. Set the baud rate default 38,400. Set communication address default 0x01. Click connect. If the connection fails, an error window will pop up. If you need to control motors with other addresses, you can directly change the communication address without disconnecting. After the connection is successful, click to calibrate the encoder. The status in the PC software will display the current status. The current status is also displayed on the motor screen. After the calibration is completed, the status displayed on the PC software is called on. Take reading the value of cumulative multi-turn encoder as an example. Choose decimal or hexadecimal. Click the cumulated button. The text box below will display the read value. Take setting current as an example. Find the MA in the set system parameters unit ma. Enter data directly or select data by a drop down menu. Click the verify button behind the box. If the setting is successful, the word setup succeed will be displayed in the motor status display column. If the setting fails, the word setup field will be displayed. You can also view the set parameters in the motor menu. Click on the menu, MA. You can see the current value just set to 1400 ma. Locate the set limit switch. Take limit 0 as an example. Set home trigger. Set home direction, home speed and end limit. Click the Verity button. If the setting is successful, the motor status bar will display the words that the setup succeed. Click the Limit Zero button. The motor starts to rotate, and the status is displayed as returning. When the limit signal input is pulled to low level, the motor will stop rotating. You can connect the limit signal input port in, one and the limit switch ground terminal E, G, and D. After the motor stops rotating, the status shows that the TAW Zero success. Click on the Direct Zero button. You can directly set the current motor angle and encoder value to zero. If the setting is successful, the status will be displayed as the TAW Zero success. Locate the Stop ICC option. 
set a certain acceleration for the start of the motor. Click the Verity button. Confirm that the motor status bar display setup succeed. Locate the control motor rotation speed. Set the direction of motor rotation. Set the speed gear for motor rotation. Click the start button. When the motor rotates successfully, the motor status bar will show that the motor has a move complete. Locate the stop by CC option. Set a certain acceleration for the motor to stop. Click the Verity button. Confirm that the motor status bar display setup succeed. Click the stop button inside the motor speed control mode box. The motor will stop running at the set stop acceleration. The motor status is displayed as the motor is stopped. After the motor stops, the motor status bar will show that the stop succeed. When operating in motor speed control mode, click the turn on automatic operation in the motor speed control mode box. After the setting is successful, the motor will automatically stop running, and when the motor is powered on again, it will automatically run at the saved speed and acceleration. Click the Turn Off Automatic Operation button. The speed mode parameters can be erased, and the motor will no longer run automatically after it is powered on again. If the setting is successful, it will be displayed in the motor status bar. Click the direct zero button to set the current motor position to zero. If the setting is successful, the motor status bar will display the return to zero success. Set a certain starting acceleration for the motor in the motor control box. Check whether the motor status bar shows that the setting is successful. Locate the control motor position box. Set the direction of motor rotation. Set the speed gear of the motor. Select the control mode as pulses. Set the number of pulses to run. Click the start button. The motor status bar shows that the motor is moving. Check the motor screen to see that the motor has run to the expected position. Set a certain stop acceleration for the motor in the stop acceleration column. Click the stop button in the motor position control mode box while the motor is running. After the stop is completed, the motor status bar displays the motor stop complete. Click the direct zero button to set the current motor position to zero. Check whether the status bar of the motor shows that the return to zero is successful. Set a certain start and acceleration for the motor. Check whether the motor status bar shows that the setting is successful. Set the rotation direction and speed gear in the motor position control mode box. The control mode is selected as relative axis. Enter the location date of the move. Then click start. The running status of the motor can be viewed in the motor status bar. Select the counting system in the read parameters box. Click the cumulative. You can view the current position data of the motor in decimal or hexadecimal. 
it can be seen that the motor has run to the predetermined position. Click the start button again to make the motor rotate another 3600 degrees. Read the decimal or hexadecimal accumulated code value of the motor again. The position data of the motor is consistent with the predetermined target. Set a certain stop acceleration for the motor stop. Check whether the motor status bar is set successfully. Hit the stop button while the motor is moving. The motor stops running at the set stop acceleration. Click the direct zero button to set the current coordinates to zero. Set a certain starting acceleration for the motor. Check if the setting is successful. Set the rotation direction and speed gear. Select the control mode as absolute axis. Enter the predetermined coordinate value. Then click the start button. You can observe the operation of the motor in the motor status bar. After the motor finishes moving, read the decimal or hexadecimal accumulated code value of the motor's current position. It can be seen that the location data is consistent with the intended target. At this time, if you click the start button again, the motor will not move. Because the motor is already at the set absolute coordinate position, Modify the coordinate value to 0x00 or 0. Click Start, then the motor can move. After the motor finishes moving, view the position and information of the motor again. The motor has returned to the zero coordinate. Set the stop acceleration of the motor. Click the stop button while the motor rotating. The motor will stop rotating at a predetermined acceleration. This is the end of the PC software communication example. Thanks for your watching.